Okay, everyone, welcome back again to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about a situation where you might actually be in, and I'm talking about palm rejection. So whenever you're using some kind of stylus, usually it is going to be the Apple Pencil. I mean, let's be real, like all of the iPad users just love the Apple Pencil, right? So let me just get it real quick. And yeah, I should have it right here. So if you use your Apple Pencil like normally, of course, you know that when you touch the screen, you of course touch it with your palm as well. So you want to make sure that the iPad, it doesn't recognize the touch of your palm, but only of the Apple Pencil. And it usually works very well. Usually there aren't like many problems with this. However, it might happen that it's not perfect. And in this situation, what I would recommend you to do, and it's not a huge expensive thing to purchase but there is an accessory you can buy and this is what it looks like it is like a glove which is supposed to be like anti-touch glove for whichever ipad it's supposed to serve the purpose of uh as you can see i'm gonna turn off the night shift real quick so you can see it better but you can see that it is just gonna cover like two of your fingers especially the side where you touch the screen like that whenever you use the Apple Pencil or some kind of different stylus. So they would be actually very useful. So I'm not affiliated with this or anything, but you can go ahead and literally just look up. I don't even know what I typed in, like anti-touch gloves or something. And it usually serves the same purpose. It doesn't matter which specific brand you have. It's gonna be the same thing, but this is something I would recommend you to do. It depends on the quality and everything when it comes to the price. So yeah, go ahead and decide what's worth it for you but this would be my tip on how you can do it and besides that there is the classical stuff which includes updating to the latest ipad os then making sure that you have the real apple pencil because of course it works with the real one at the best you want to make sure that you have the first or second gen and besides that just get the official or like the best software to to draw or whatever you do so it could be procreate or use the apple built-in notes app or pages or whatever and that would probably get you the best result so hope you found this video useful if you did hit the thumbs up subscribe below and i'll catch you in the next video peace out until then